What's going on guys? This is Edgar the Grind Don't Stop. So this is a video that we promised you from Carlos Serrano. So let's go ahead and take a look at his setup. So if you haven't watched that first video, go ahead and watch that because he talks about a lot of the mistakes that common detailers do whenever they're doing uh, ceramic coatings and paint corrections. So watch that video if you haven't, but let's get into his setup. For the people who've been detailing for a while, I'm sure somewhere you have heard of Carlos Serrano's name. In the detailing forums, he's always helping out. Um, he's been very, very helpful to us. I'm glad we were finally able to meet him in person. But let's get into your truck setup. For so sure. Show us what we got. We both All have right. Tundras. We both and got even Tundra. Even has a Tundra too. Tundra power. Um, so, <laughs> so this is my 2016 uh, Toyota Tundra. I customized it with some aerodynamics here, as you guys can see. <laughs> it was on a hit and run and they hit me. Oh, so um, I got mad when I got home and I started kicking the other one. And that's how I made them equal. <laughs> um, but this is my little truck and I obviously I have my little a-frame if you don't have this get it an a-frame I can't tell you how much money this thing has made me um, we have it on a slide out for those that might have seen my setup before it used to be a mess I used to just have everything everywhere um, but I was blessed by another detailer um, who gave me this slide out um, so it just slides out obviously right now I have all those things but it's on a slide out, which I don't even have to pull it out, uh, on a 5,000 watt uh, inverter, mighty, huge extractor. If you're just starting, please don't go out there and buy this. This is about a 20, I think $2,800 extractor, 3,000 almost. So if you don't need it, don't buy it, right? Um, obviously I have a Harbor Freight um, strip, a power strip, uh, which I use to connect my vacuum. And then over here on this side, obviously, we have my 200 PSI rigid air compressor. This is my extractor hose, which is usually inside, but for this purpose, I pulled it outside so you guys can see the interior. A 50 gallon, and then on the other side, I have two Harbor Freight reels with a Uber Flex for the pressure washer, the air compressor, um, air hose, and then obviously I run with a Ryobi 1900. And with this inverter, I really am able to power everything. No issues yet. And then I'll show you guys the interior. So December of last year, I was bored. We were getting get, we were getting hit with like, I think a lot of rain. I think that's what it was. And I was bored. So I decided to pull out my seats and it was time to really change it up. So I took the back seats out. My brother-in-law and, and myself, we ended up uh, creating a whole um, little setup. So the top section, this is my interior detail side. So anything I need for interiors, it's on this side. On the top, I just have products. I have my Aqua Pro steamer. Um, always carry a, a fire extinguisher, guys, because you never know when you might need it. Um, and then I converted my Max Shine foam cannon holders um, into two, two uh, air tool holders, uh, and that has worked perfectly. And then obviously we have a brush holder, nothing crazy. Um, but it works. It definitely simplifies my job now from being messy to now having just kind of more organization. It's better. And then my favorite part is going to be the exterior side. So on the exterior side, we have pretty much everything I need for paint correction. I have my two polishers. And then I have my three inch on one side. I have my five inch polisher on the other side. And then on this side, obviously I have all my polishes, which right now they are in the garage. And then I have all my ceramic coatings in the bottom. Very easy, nothing crazy. I'm still trying to figure out what to put up here. Some people wanted me to put like a little bar. Others said like a cooler. So I don't know what to put in here yet. So in the comment section, guys, let me know. I'll be watching this video. What can I put up here? I've thought maybe towels because it definitely needs something here. But yeah, this is pretty much my my setup on my 2016 Tundra. Paid off last year, so I was so excited too. That's that awesome. it finally paid off. That was like probably the most proudest moment for me because I didn't want to lose it and finally paid it off. So I got no more debt, guys. <laughs> That's pretty good <laughs> that you paid off. You don't have to worry about you know paying that bill or anything like that. How, how are you liking this setup compared to like other setups that you may be seeing from other detailers? I know a lot of detailers maybe have vans, sedans. Yeah, so I don't know. There's always a battle about trucks versus vans. Yeah. For me, I love my truck. Just be, I've even had customers tell me like, I'm so happy you pulled up in a truck because I've had customers say like the people with vans 
for me are creepy. Like they're gonna <laughs> rob me or, you know, like that kind of. Right. And so some people are happy that I pull up in a truck. Um, yeah, you might lose kind of room. Right. Because you don't have a van or a transit. But honestly, with this setup, like on my truck, it's easier for me. Like I'm much more organized. It, I can only say it cuts my time like in half because everything is organized. Like before, right. I would need to go and search yeah. for my stuff. Um, but with this, it's literally now it's plug and play, turn it on and let's let's go it's to work. To go. Uh, as you guys know, we have trucks as well. Uh, typically, we drive maintenance truck, the, the white Tundra you guys seen in the, in the videos below. Um, it's, it's good to see another detailer that's also, you know, working on yeah. this truck because I don't <laughs> think there's that many of us. A lot of people just use, you know, vans or, you know, they use sedans. Hardly that many people use the trucks, I guess, because they're big and, you know, they're expensive and, yeah, you know, the gas. I don't know. I'm just not a van person. I can't, I can't do a van. There's just something about them that I just, I won't do it. I work out of my truck and it's just simple. Like some have told me to put a camper on it, like obviously for these rainy days. Like today. <laughs> like today. But honestly, I feel like with the camper, it would make it too hot in there. Right. And it would probably turn off my uh, my generator. True, that's true. So for that reason, I don't want to put a camper on it. So I'm all right, you know, so if it gets wet, usually all that stuff should be okay. I have all the outlets covered. So, you know, I think it's, I think it's okay. All right, Carlos, that was a pretty good setup uh, tour. Thank you so much yeah, for that. Yeah, man, thank you guys. If you guys have any questions regarding any of his setup, uh, like he said, he's gonna be watching the video. If you haven't already followed him, go ahead and follow him as well. Uh, we'll have all his, uh, his channel information down below. But we're trying to get out of here because it looks like it's gonna start raining again. So I appreciate you guys watching. Let's go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't. You guys be safe.